Welcome back to this Final Fantasy XIV Let's Play. You with Zuljan? <laughs> There's a big wave for you. We are back in the realm of Eorzea with our brand new, right off the tutorial, gladiator named Zuljan. I hope you guys are doing wonderful today and thank you for joining me for another episode of Final Fantasy as we kind of progress into the beginning quest here. Let's talk to... Momodi. Momodi, the properties properties <laughs> of the quicksand wants you to perform three tasks that will help you learn the fundamentals of adventuring. Let's do it, Momodi. Before you go charging off to find your fortune, I have a few basic tasks I'd like you to perform so as you can help you get to know the place. First of all, I want you to visit the Aetherite Plaza. To get there, head west from here and you'll reach the Emerald Avenue. Then look north and you should see a giant floating crystal called the Aetherite. If it weren't for the Aetherites, traveling around the Orzea would be damn sight more troublesome than it is. Of course, you, need, you still need to attune with them before you can use them. So be sure to do that in the plaza. You've ever attuned with an Aetherite before, Zul? If not, just lay your hands on the thing. And you'll see what I mean. With you've d when, when you've done that, I want you to pay a visit to the Gladiators Guild over at the Coliseum. Assuming the sword ain't just for show, you might just consider some training there. And finally, I want you to visit the Sapphire Avenue Exchange over the steps of Thal. Good from across the Eorzea and beyond, turn up there every day. You have no trouble finding armor, weapons, and anything else a fledgling adventurer like yourself might need. You might say everything's for sale here in Ulda, as long as you've got the gill. Gill is currency, if you're not familiar with Final Fantasy lore. Just make sure that you don't pay more than you ought, Zul. There's plenty more scruple to swindle unsuspecting foreigners like yourself, especially if there's no one looking out for your best interest, which is why I'm giving you this letter. When you visit the exchange, find a gentleman named Cesaroga and give it to him. He'll be happy to tell you about the markets once you read it, once he reads it. In short then, visit the Aetherite Plaza, the Gladiators Guild, and the Sapphire Exchange. Simple. Oh, and before you go, word of advice. While there's few unsavory characters that who will take advantage of you, there are also some honest-to-goodness problems we should consider offering a helping hand to. Honest, wait, honest-to-goodness problems? Oh, I guess honest-to-goodness people with problems is what she meant. A lot of folks are lured to the city of the promise of wealth and power. What may, what many of them fail to realize is that chasing after Gil, the moment they get here, they ought to be making friends. Let it be known that you're willing to give me much as you get, and opportunities will come your way. Speaking of which, you should speak with the smith over yonder. Those lads always have some good advice for up-and-coming adventures. Otherwise, that's about it from me. It's past time you get going. Oh, and let me know when you finish, will you? That way, I won't spend my days worrying that you're down to your small cloths without guilt your name. Hey, how's it going? All right, Momo D. I'm out. Quest accepted. Alrighty. The loading screen, it tells us a little bit about the main menu and some navigation. And I already kind of know this. So I think this is as far as I went in the tutorial. There's not much else I've done. Okay, let's talk to the smith here. Greetings, I'm one of the smiths, a stoker of fires and forger of futures. As a dedicated member of the Adventures Guild, I have been entrusted with the task of providing assistance to new adventurers. I see you I see you have but recently taken up Adventures Mantle. The possibility stretching out before you must be positively daunting. In the Adventures Guild, we see new adventurers as fledgling heroes. You are a champion of tomorrow, a nascent stars of limitless potential. My fellow Smiths and I are here to provide you with guidance, but the Guild also enlists a cadre of veteran adventurers who will be happy to share you with their accumulated wisdom you can recognize. We can recognize their helpful men and women 
by their title of mentor. I tell you what, I'm gonna be using the comments for the tips. <laughs> Mentors stand ready to advise you on an aspect of adventuring. They have hundreds of quests under their belts and have likely a solution of whatever the limit that might be causing you trouble. A mentor may even offer to accompany you on adventures. I highly recommend that you take advantage of a mentor's aid to enrich your experiences in Eorzea. Pray do not hesitate to ask me if you would like to know more. All right, and you actually get experience bonus, I think, from dealing with mentors or whatever, but um, there's not that many people around the starting towns anymore. <laughs> it's probably due to the the how late the game is as far as uh, how long it's been out, you know, but we're going to get out of here. We've got a few quests to do. So this is what I had trouble understanding for a little while. The map system in Final Fantasy was a little bit daunting for me at first. Um, I play Star Wars Galaxies that has too many maps, and this one kind of has too many maps too. <laughs> so if I hit M here, you'll see the map uh, that comes up, and I am right here. So the where I need to go is to the Aetherite Plaza. There's a few places that I need to go, but if you click here, it'll kind of tell you where this is. So it's the Steps of Nald. And the older Aetherite Plaza is the furthest I can go down. So the steps of Nald are right behind me. So if I turn around, you can see there that I have a minimap too. And you can hover over some things in the minimap to kind of let you know where you are. But we're going to go down to the steps of Nald. It's relatively easy to, to, to figure out once you kind of know how it goes. Anyway, alright. So, if we hit M again, we'll see that... We're at the Quicksand Adventurers Guild. There's a Chocobo Keep. There is our quest right here, Due Diligence. Or no, actually it's close to home, isn't it? Wait, where is close to home? Here's the Aetheride Plaza. That's where we need to go. <laughs> okay, see I'm already screwing up. All right, let's go out this door and I'm gonna use a sprint ability here to go a little bit faster. I mean, when my hair is waving in the wind and stuff. It's good shit, good shit. All right, so we need to take a left at the bin, and this is Waymond. Uh, we talked to him at first. That was the first guy that we talked to. Waymond would like to know what you think of Ulda. So, how you, how you're taking in Ulda, Zul? May, many of new friends in high places yet? Ha! Huh, well, you have the Sultana's ear one day. I hope you won't have forgotten old, about old Waymond, or Waymond, or I don't know how you pronounce your name. It's the old Wyvern Wyvern argument. Long as you're here, may have you do me a favor and take this missive over to Josiah at the Platinum Mirage? Once you're over yonder, and that man will give you more gil for your trouble. If only uh, all work in the city was this easy, eh? Alright, so he gave me a quest and I got a new one for Josiah, and I think that's probably going to be on the way. These guys with red quest I can't do yet because they're too high level. Uh, and I could take quests from all these other people, but I can only hold five at a time. Well, I can only view five at a time, I should say. Um, where are we? Did we pass up where we want to go here? Yeah, we sure did. It's back over here. Let's use Sprint again. It cools down relatively fast. I think this is the Aetherite Plaza right here. Ah, yes! This is the Aetherite, ladies and gentlemen. All I have to do is right-click on it. And I'm attuning. This is like a waypoint. You use these to travel between points in town and stuff. Hail, adventurer. Might you have come behest the Miss Momodi of the quicksand? Why, yes, I have. Short legs. Excellent. Which brings us to the matter of attunement fee. This will be 100,000 gil, if you please, sir. What? Ha <laughs> ha apologies, but I do so relish the opportunity to make that jest. You looked, your face was absolutely priceless. Ah, but the fact that you were so easily deceived suggests to me that you are unfamiliar with the use of aetherites. Allow me to explain. The crystalline algorithms tap into ethereal energies that are primarily used as a means of travel swiftly to another place. 
Perhance you, ha <laughs> you have heard of return and teleport? Well, these transportation spells make direct use of the Aetherites and their connection to the flow of the Aether. Given that there is an Aetherite in almost every corner of Eorzea, many adventurer which mind to explore the realm will wish to seek out and attune himself to each and every one. But even if you have no intention of wandering beyond the Sultanate's borders, it would be prudent of you to attune yourself to any Aetherites you encounter from now on. I pray you found it informative. Should you wish to learn more about Aetherites or transportation magic, I should happily answer your questions. No, nope. I think I'm good, though. I learned return. With You attune with the Aetherite. Now you're now able to use the return spell. Which anywhere in the world, if I use return, it will bring me back to this spot. Or whatever I am uh, um, currently bound to, so to speak. Okay, we've got some more quests to do. Let's go out this way. You can see on my mini-map, due diligence. That's the first one that the um, that old... We oh, uh, Wymond? Wymond? <laughs> I'm going to call him Wyman because women sounds like I'm talking about the female sex. Uh, Jajakuda? This ain't this ain't my, my, my person. I need to go further in here, I guess. This is the Pugilus Guild? Okay. Um, Josiah. Do you have business with the Platinum Mirage this morning? Now, yeah, I got this letter to give to you. A missive from Wymond. All right, then. Let's have a look. Bird is barren. Let the hounds feast. Sigh. So it goes. Oh, this. Well, you see, the guild is often contracted to provide protective services. Unfortunately for this particular petitioner, Wyman's investigation has revealed his finances to be wanting. <laughs> Maybe adventurers like you don't mind working for free, but as we have a business to run, I myself have four mouths to feed. So this bird will have to fend for himself, I'm afraid. And we get some money and some experience, which is good. Okay, we just completed that. He might have more quests than we already know about handing over items. Thanks. Seems pretty self-explanatory, but it was nice to go through the tutorial anyway. All right, let's move ahead. So we have a couple other spots to visit. Um, the Gladiators Guild, which is in the steps of Thal. If we zoom out here, the steps of Thal are down here. So I'm going to have to hook a left. And I'm going to left down here as well. And that's going to be at the Gladiators Guild. This is where we're going to get like our main kind of questing start. What's going on over here? Dice game? You're playing craps? This dude must have lost. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. He's showboating, man. All right. Is this where we need to go, by the way? Yes. Steps of Thal. Either one of these will do. The steps of Thal. Or Thal, or however you want to call it. Quite a few quests around here that you can do, too. I could do delivery quests all day long in this town. I'm not opposed to them. I don't mind looking into a few of them. We need to go here, though. This is close to home. Right now, let's just take care of this. I'd like to show y'all a little bit of action how the combat goes. Pretty simple. Pretty MMO-like. A little bit different. Every class has a little bit of different stuff. I know the Pugilist was different and the Lancer was different. Well, the Pugilist was different from the Lan the Lancer. And some people call it Pugilist. I don't know how to say the daggum word. For real. Pearl Lane. The graphics in the game are beautiful, you gotta admit. Okay. Cesarogo, we heard about you. Howdy. Um, wait, I almost said howdy ho just because I saw ho. Ho, a newly come adventure. But of course, yes, I am Sarasoga. What can I do for you? Ah, you would have me teach me the ways of the marketplace. Very wise as for my fee. What? You expect me to do it for free? Surely you jest. My dear adventurer, when you ask an um, ask an Ulden for a favor, you should at least try to make it worth his while. Judging from your garb, I rather doubt you could afford my services, but the fact that you offer nothing is laughable. Listen, bruh, I got this letter of introduction, though. Momo D hooked me up. Ah, 
Uh, Mistress Momodi instructed you to seek me out, did she? Hmm. Consider this fortunate to have such influential friends. I shall be brief, and you shall be attentive. All right, fine. You stand in the Sapphire Avenue Exchange, the busiest and most profitable marketplace in the Sultanate. Being advantageously situated in relation to the other city-states, Ulda's market have ever served as both the literal and figurative centers of Eorzean commerce. Or well, ain't you the smart big mouth little guy? As all the overland trade routes lead to our city and the major of maritime trade between Vilebrand and Aldenor passes through our ports, because of this, countless companies of consortia have chosen Ulda as their main base of operations. They see to it that the marketplace is awash, but merchants and moneylenders day and night. Anything a man could even desire could be purchased here. Provide as he has sufficient funds. Y'all got smoked sausage? I want to make a sauce pecan. Surely there's something you could see adventure. A deadly sword, perhaps a shinier trinket. Whatever it is it is you want, the exchange will have it. To the north, you'll find merchants peddling armor accessories, curatives, and crafting materials. To the south, you'll find weapons, tools, and assortments of other useful items for sale. I heard nothing about smoked sausage, my short friend. Seek out a particular merchant or browse to your heart's content, but try not to remain aloof. Should you find something that piques your interest, decisions made in the heat of the moment are usually unwise, especially when coin is concerned. Ahem. This is all the complimentary aid you shall have from me, and far too much for my taste. My regards to Momodi, now off with you. Well, he did his service. All right, so I've got two out of the three things. It's time to visit the Gladiators Guild now. So the Gladiators Guild, um, we have to go to, where is this? Uh, the Steps of Nald? Yes, the Steps of Nald, and I, I'm actually, I'm actually very close, I think. No, I'm not. I am, I am currently in the Sapphire Avenue Exchange. The Steps of Nald are right across the way here. So I'm going to have to go back all along this way. We'll just go ahead and kill the map for now. I can get around mostly like this. Let's pour the coals to it, shall we? All right. Uh, we can get to the steps from Na of Nald right here on the right as well. It's just going to put us in a different section of the city. We'll still have just as far to walk, I do believe. I don't think there's any sort of shortcut. It's entrances and exits to each space, honestly. Okay, so yeah, we're we're close, though. Um, we need to head up and around here. Do we have sprint back? Yes, we do. I might as well just hotkey that thing. Also, oh, there's auto run. I forgot about that. Still doesn't help that you have to turn using the right click, but... Okay, we're close. We've already been here before, or close to it. Sierra Luna, you're new too? Welcome. Welcome to Final Fantasy. <laughs> I talk about it like I've been here before. I mean, I have. It was so long ago. All right. In the name of science is level three. That is definitely not it. We are looking for, we passed it up, y'all. We straight up passed it up. The guild is, hold on. Steps of Thal. Steps of Thal, yeah, we do have to go to the Steps of Thal first, which I believe is the closest thing is right here. I might've got a little bit mixed up in navigation while trying to talk and be entertaining and stuff. We're not too far though. We're not too far. Okay. Here's a few things. This is the Gladiators Guild, y'all. I'm here. Okay, who do I have to talk to around this sucker? Uh huh. You, with the pretty icon above your head. Lulutsu? Welcome to the Gladiators Guild, friend. Tell me, are you new to the thrills of Mortal Kombat? Mortal Kombat. Well, whether... <laughs> Mortal Kombat. 
<laughs> well, whether you are not or you're new to us, if you would take your place in these hallowed halls, you might must be willing and must be ready to undergo the most rigorous training. You must endure cuts and bruises beyond counting and like as not for worse. A daunting prospect, I concede. But there's no other way to main wait if you mean to take to the blood sands one day. And why wouldn't you? The Coliseum is only the most celebrated place in the public entertainment in all Ulda. Where else could a poor man amass a fortune so vast as to one day allow him to claim a seat on the syndicate? Ah, there's no, not an Ulden alive who isn't inspired by the rise of a self-made man. And this is truer embodiment of this than the gladiator who wins riches and fame with his sword. Throughout its long and storied history, this guild has nurtured countless champions. Our training methods are second to none, and our members ever strive to develop new techniques. If you desire true glory and fight and triumph midst the roar of 10,000 voices, then this is where you belong, adventurer. Think of it. Think of your legacy, and the soul stirs join us. All right. We join the Gladiators Guild. Okay. Lelutsu wishes to reaffirm your desire to join the Gladiators Guild. What will it be? Will you rise to the masses and inscribe your name in the legend? Or will it resign yourself to mediocrity and die in obscurity? We're joining the Gladiators Guild because we don't want to die <laughs> of mediocrity or obscurity. A decision thou shan't regret. One moment. Make way for Zul'jin. Fresh meat coming through. Now then, <laughs> be your enrollment can be considered complete. You must present yourself to First Sword Myla. Uh, or Amelia. Seek her out and obtain her approval. Very good. Okay, let's go ahead and seek out Amelia. Here she is, the guildmaster. Hey, girl. Looking strong. Hey, I heard Lelutsu. So, you're Zul'jin. Tis a good, strong name. On behalf of the Gladiators Guild, allow me to welcome you. I'm Mylia, guildmaster here. Well, thank you, Lelutsu. Uh, Melia, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, you wish to study the arts, I presume. You have your reasons for choosing the sword over all other weapons. Perhaps you think it's easiest to earn. A sword is simple weapon, but a wield a blade. But to wield a blade, well, is anything but simple. For every Colosseum champion to emerge from our ranks, you have been countless disappointments who failed to achieve greatness. Bear in mind... Before you answer me, Zul, for I do not ask this question lightly, have you the strength to live by the sword, and if your fate die by the sword by it? Yes. I do. Then welcome, Gladiator, to your new home. Let's not waste time, shall we? I would gauge your aptitude for the sword. Just outside the gates, Ulda, you'll find plenty of Mormots, Hornets, and Shrews. Say, slay three of each and return here when finished. But a simple task but essential to your training nonetheless. Now go. All right, and we got our first quest to go out and adventure and kill some stuff, but that is going to have to wait till the next episode, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed the narrative so far. If you did, give me some dap on that like button to show you support. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and thank you all so much for watching, guys. As always, this is Zul'jin signing off, and we'll see you next time.